if you're like me, you wonder a lot about our ancient human ancestors, especially the weird and gore facts are of interest to me. We know that humans have engaged in cannibalism during hard times and certain civilizations had ritualistic reasons for cannibalism, and some people are just weird and a bit messed up that they engage in it. Let's just keep it at that. But I've always wondered if our ancient ancestors engaged in this practice as well. And when I say ancient ancestors, I mean the ancient human ancestors, you know, in our evolutionary tree. And it seems that now we've got the answer that we were looking for. My name is Kaylee, and in this video I'm going to tell you all about the oldest proof of cannibalism known to date that was recently discovered. And that was Boris. Apparently he had something to say. A Kenyan museum housed a shin bone that was discovered in the Turkana region of northwestern Kenya by famed anthropologist Mary Leakey. But it wasn't until 2017 when paleoanthropologist Briana Pobiner of the National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. examined dozens of hominin bones at the Kenyan Museum that this shin bone was found to hold quite the significance. Briana Pobiner traveled to the Kenyan Museum to examine hominin bones, looking for animal bite marks as she was interested to see if animals like hyenas and wild cats had eaten the early hominins. Although she didn't find any bite marks, she found something of much more interest, as she discovered what looked like cut marks on a hominin shin bone. So she researched and studied hundreds of fossil animal bones from the same time period in the same region that have clear cut marks. So she immediately knew what she had found on this shin bone. But as you can imagine, that's just one expert opinion. So she created impressions of the cut marks with the same material that dentists use to make molds of teeth, and then she sent these to her paleoanthropologist colleague, Michael Panty, at the Colorado State University, without letting him know what she thought the marks were. Which I think was very smart, because you don't want to influence someone's way of thinking and someone's perception. So Michael Panty and Trevor Kievel, a doctoral student at Purdue University, then made 3D scans of the mysterious marks and compared them to a database of 898 tooth, butchery and trample marks in a controlled experiment. Their analysis showed that at least 9 of the 11 cut marks had been made by stone tools on the 1.45 million year old bone. Anthropologists know that there is no reason for such cut marks to be found on a bone unless the meat is to be eaten, as this is the same way hominins used to cut the meat of animal bones. So this is the exact same type of butchering that we see on animal bones. And therefore, it was clear to them that they had stumbled upon ancient cannibalism of one of our ancient ancestors. So we know that hominins have been eating other hominins of the same and different species as themselves for hundreds of thousands of years. But now we've actually discovered the oldest evidence of cannibalism to date. Until this discovery, the oldest evidence of cannibalism was found in the Atapuerca archaeological site in Spain of Homo antecessor some 800,000 years ago. I've actually created a video on Homo antecessor, which I think did not get the attention it deserved. It's for sure a really good video, and it talks about this cannibalism a little bit more in detail, so I'll put that as a card in the upper right corner. Unfortunately, it is unknown to which hominin this shin bone belongs to. It's either an individual from the species of Homo erectus or Homo habilis because only the shin bone was discovered of this individual and DNA evidence is impossible on bones this old, we will most likely never know to which species it actually belonged. Of course, it's unknown why these hominins engaged in cannibalism and we can't know why they would eat each other. It could have been for nutritional consumption or there's a possibility that there was a more complex ritual activity taking place. 
Although there is no evidence of any ritualistic behavior by either Homo erectus or Homo habilis, no evidence of burials or other ritualistic activities. So yeah, um, therefore Briana Pobiner thinks that this was a strictly nutritional case of cannibalism, as there is no evidence pointing to a ritualistic approach of eating people. But also let's just not eat people, maybe? Cannibalistic rituals may quite well be unique to our own species of Homo sapiens, as the more recent cases in the Aztec Empire has shown us. So it was of the Aztec ritualistic belief that strict rules applied to who could be eaten and who was allowed to do the eating. Yeah. Even in instances of cannibalism for survival, such as in shipwrecks or in other extreme situations, some ritualistic aspects are still involved. For instance, drawing lots to decide who would be eaten and who would do the eating. So yeah, there's still a ritualistic approach there. There has, however, been evidence of cannibalism among Neanderthals, although there hasn't been any evidence of ritualistic behavior here either. So it seems that even Neanderthals only engaged in purely nutritional cannibalism as well. The researchers have not been able to rule out the possibility that the hominin victim in Kenya was hunted down for its meat or if it had died of other causes and was eaten when its body was found. As you can imagine, it was nearly 1.5 million years ago. It's not like we can ask this bone like, hey, were you hunted or did you already die? It is known that chimpanzees and other modern apes sometimes kill each other in territorial disputes and then eat the dead. Although they seem to treat these bodies purely as a source of meat. There's no ritualistic behavior here either. So this latest study reveals that there is much much more to learn from previously discovered bones and how important it is to analyze bones that were discovered a long time ago. This has everything to do with the science and the technology to analyze bones that has improved immensely over the past few decades and there is much more to uncover from bones that were discovered decades ago. There are things that we don't know that could be revealed. Like New behavioral information can be revealed with these new technologies and fresh sets of eyes. We already know that some of the best discoveries have already been found, but there is a possibility that they haven't been fully recognized yet. So there's much work to be done in the field of anthropology. We really need to go back and look at museum collections of ancient hominin bones as there might be a lot to uncover, possibly even unexpected new revelations. So there you have it, Lila on my lap and the oldest evidence of cannibalism dating back to 1.45 million years ago. So what do you think of this latest discovery? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you like to see more kind of videos like these, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card. I mean, whatever floats your boat. I cater to you, I make videos, and you can decide if you want to watch them or not. And I would like to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. I mean, it means the world to me and it means a lot to Lila. So, I mean, that's good. You always want to keep a cat happy. And with that said, I'll be in Scotland next week. I'll see if I can do a live stream from my hotel room or wherever I can find good internet because that's a thing in the British Isles for me. I usually can't find good internet. But we'll see and uh yeah otherwise i'll have some cool videos and photos on my instagram twitter facebook TikTok, whatever you name it so yeah with that said i'll see you in the next video bye guys